Hey everyone, I'm sure many of you know that Wings of Fire is getting quite a bit of content this holiday season. First, we've got the Escaping Peril graphic novel, which I'm definitely buying, and the collector's edition of the Dragonet Prophecy, which I've already bought. And second, we have some merchandise, like the Wings of Fire branded cutie cups. But what more is there in store? Apart from the graphic novels that will be released down the line, the Wings of Fire show being developed, and the new arc, there's still more room for more content. Now, for those new to the channel, I've talked about introducing new Wings of Fire games to the community. I've heard of and played the Wings of Fire beta, Talents of Destiny, and Seven Thrones recently, all of which I personally enjoyed. These games, however, were heavily reliant on role-playing and interacting with other real players. As much as I like multiplayer games, it would be nice to introduce some variety into the community, like an adventure game where you travel and interact on the Pyrian continent, or creating a city under a queen's rule. We need something other than games, though. Besides, I'm sure most of the community discovered the series through reading the novels. So I propose introducing another set of winglets. Right now, we only have the prisoner, assassin, deserter, and runaway winglets in the series. However, if Tui were to release four new winglets from characters that benefit from a backstory, it would be really engaging. Personally, I'd like to see perspectives from different tribes like the Mudwings, Icewings, and Rainwings. And as much as I like the Nightwings, I think more tribes need to be represented in some way. However, not everyone is into the anthologies or short stories. So what if we introduced another Guide to the Dragons of Wings of Fire. There's still so much of the world to discover, especially since Pantala has significantly less information compared to the main continent. A volume 2 of the Wings of Fire guidebook would be really cool, because we get new perspectives from different tribes all at once. Also, I did have one gripe about the guidebook that we got. When you go to the tribe-specific map, it was only a zoomed-in image of the continent. I believe it would have been really informative if each tribe-specific map had a lot more detail. For example, let's say we we're looking at the Ancient Nightwing Kingdom. We could mark where Fierce Teeth's camp is located and more detailed sketches of the Ancient Nightwing Kingdom. We could see where the old library was, or the Seer Tower from Dark Soccer Legends. Other things I'd like to see in the new volume are interior and exterior building images, as well as old drawings of the characters from Dark Soccer's time. It would make the guidebook feel like a journal, which is something new. However, I did enjoy seeing the interior of the hives. I thought that was really cool. In terms of merchandise though, Wings of Fire themed Lego sets would be really fun. The Jurassic franchise recently did a 30th anniversary, and I was able to buy the original Visitor Center, which was really fun to build. Maybe we could see Lego sets appear on the 15th anniversary of Wings of Fire, but I don't really know. I think it'd be really fun to build Queen Scarlet's arena, with Pearl and Queen Scarlet being the main figures part of the set. The Summer Palace would also be a great build, featuring fan favorite Tsunami and her mom, Queen Coral. There are so many places in Wings of Fire that can be replicated with Lego, and a collaboration would be very welcome. Figurines of the cast would be good too. It would really give a sense of scale between each of the tribes. You can even include accessories to fit them with different poses and actions. Glory could have a Venom Strike piece that could be attached to her, or Queen Scarlet can have removable armor. There could even be a possibility of painting your own dragon from a specific tribe. We already have the stained glass art book coming, so DIY models would be really good, especially for those with original characters that they want to tangibly have. I mean, imagine having the Dragonettes of Destiny or the Jade Winglet chilling out on your shelf. Now, those were just a handful of ideas though, and I'm certain the whole community can find more ways to expand the future of Wings of Fire. What do you want to see from this series? Let me know down below. I personally would like to see more games and another Wings of Fire guide. I'm not a very good role player, so the games we have so far can be pretty limiting for me, but it doesn't excuse the fact that they are pretty fun. Anyways, those were the ideas I had about Wings of Fire's future. Subscribe for more dragons and dinos, and as always, thanks for listening.